name is Ernestine Nyongundiro and today I'm going to be conducting a street video which is going to be more of asking uh, like people around, asking them about how much do they know about their government. Do they know what is happening in the government? Do they know how maybe some decisions are made? So in this video I'm going to be demonstrate, uh, like showing the knowledge of uh, what uh, the people knows and afterwards I'm going to be concluding by explaining very well maybe the misconception that they have by explaining them clearly to the uh, true information that the uh, uh, people might be having that they should be having. Thank you. Let's follow uh, the video to the street. Uh, hello. Hi. Uh, I'm an esteemed and I'm a student. So I would like to, to tell something, do you, to ask you some few questions, do you have something? Uh, so my name is Ernestine Nyobundiro, I'm a student in the Bachelor of Arts program with College for America at Southern New Hampshire. And I'm, uh, 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 and I'm conducting this interview as part of my academic work. Uh, with your consent, I will record this interview and use the information as street video. I'm working the project uh, in the goal, from the goal uh, called Contribute to the Society. Uh, so, just to create this, uh, I'll be submitting this uh, video to College of America so that my project can be evaluated. This recording will be used solely for the purpose, uh, uh, the purpose uh, for, I'll be temporary store and it will be temporary store of College for America online evaluation and all only evaluators in the College for America staff will be have the access to it. Do you have any questions? No, I think so. Uh, do you give your consent to be interviewed and uh, recorded? Yes, I do. Uh, so if uh, you give your consent, maybe you can read this so that uh, this statement can help me uh, to interview and record you. Uh, thank you very much. So maybe I may start with the first question. What are the three branches of the government? Yeah, I think uh, the three branch, branches are uh, legislative, uh, judicial, and uh, 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 Yeah, it's okay. Thank you very much. Uh, the second question is, what does each branch do? I don't know what each branch do, but I think those three branches uh, work together to set the laws that uh, use the government. Ah, okay. So the third one, uh, Democrats and Republicans are the major parties. Can you name the third party? Yeah, I have no idea of the third party. Ah, okay. So the last question is, what is the basic process by which a bill becomes a law? Yeah. Okay, thank you very much for your time. How are you? Do you have some, some minutes, please? Yeah, uh, okay. Uh, my name is Ernestine Nyogundiro. I'm a student in Bachelor of Arts program with College for America at Southern New Hampshire. And I'm conducting uh, this interview as part of my academic um, work. Mm -hmm. With your consent, I'll be recording this interview and use the information in a street video uh, I'm working on uh, from the girl called Contribute to the Society. Mm -hmm. uh, the interview will be, you, will be uh, used to create this video and be submitted uh, to College for America so that my project can be evaluated. Okay. This recording will be used solely for this purpose. Uh, the interview information will be temporarily stored in the College for America online evaluation system uh, uh, to which only the evaluators and College for America staff can only have access. They are the only one who can have the access. Uh, do you have any question? Uh, do you give your consent to be interviewed and recorded? Yeah. Uh, would you please read this statement?
question and feel free to express yourself or what you know. Yeah. So, what are the three branches of the government? So, okay, I think that is executive, judicially, and legislative. Very nice. You are about to reach the correct answer. The, uh, the second one is what does each branch do? Mm, I'm not very well sure about that, but I think they all combine together to control govern the country. Okay. Uh, the third question is Democrats and Republicans are the major parties. Can you name the third one? Uh, the third one is minor party. Wow, that's very cool. Eh? And the fourth one, what is the basic process by which a bill becomes a law? Yeah, a bill, I think the bill becomes a law when it's signed by the president mm -hmm. and by, I think, the executive part of the government. Yeah, thank you very much for your time and your attention. Got it. Uh, as you have seen in the videos that uh, the street videos that we've been taking, people have different understanding of uh, the actions and what is being done on, on the in the uh, government. For instance, on the first question, what are the three branches of the government? Uh, one of them who is uh, Lydia and Christella. Lydia uh, was able to name the two of them, but Christella was able to name the three of them. But then. Um, uh, the, the true information is that there is three branches of the government. The first one is legislative, and the second one is judicial branch, and the third one, which is the last one, is executive uh, branch. The legislative branch, the head of legislative branch is Congress, and the head of judicial branch is Supreme Court, and the head of executive uh, branch is the president. So uh, uh, asking them uh, what do they do, they weren't able to explain what uh, these uh, branches do or their roles. Uh, but uh, their roles is that the registrative uh, branch makes, uh, uh, makes or introduces laws and the judicial branch review the laws and that the registrative uh, branch did. And then the last point, which is executive, carry out the laws or sign when the president sign the law it means it is introduced for instance if we we, we give an example of a bill when the bill is uh, want to be uh, to become a law they start by introducing it and then review it or just make some votes uh, discuss about it and then when the president sign that's the last step of voting that law uh, to be introduced or published and become a law uh, so uh, about that when uh, we go on uh, the other one which is the connection uh, about uh, these branches the connection is that as it is visible here you can see that they all contribute to the law to be called or to be made a law uh, if we say that this uh, legislative introduce it judicial review it and then executive carry out it it means that there is in along all this process, each branch contribute uh, so that it can become uh, a law. Uh, the other thing is how they regulate each other or check and balance it, each other. According to Candela um, Open Learning, they say that each branch have the right to uh, check and balance uh, either of the rest of the two uh, by seeing, uh, by comparing its action to the others, to mean no branch here which is have the uh, the power over the other. So, for instance, if legislative make a decision of introducing a law uh, from uh, uh, from uh, the sponsors, if it take the action of introducing the law, judicial doesn't have. Uh, like the power to come over here and then uh, dis uh, destroy the idea. Instead, it waves so that it can be raised up to judicial uh, branch and uh, down here. It means they all balance and have the power. None of uh, them which have the power over the other. Instead, they work together, they, they contribute each other, they have such a uh, connection to each other. Uh, so, uh, going on uh, the second. Uh, the third question, which is asking uh, Democrats and Republicans are the major parties to name the uh, third one. Based on the answer that we got from uh, the street, 
they were saying that uh, most or all or uh, Christella, the one called Christella, say that she doesn't know anything about this. Uh, but then um, uh, Lydia said that uh, the other party is a uh, minor party, uh, which is true. The other party is minor party. The third party is minor party, which consists of um, the Libertarians party, Green party, constitu and the Constitution party. Uh, this have uh, this third party have a very small influence on the election because major parties are the one to dominate. If I say major parties, it's more of a um, Republican party and a Democratic party. Those are the major ones. To mean the major party and the minor party. Uh, so going on um, how uh, how uh, the uh, two parties like there is. Uh, the two parties, which is consist of Democratic and uh, Republicans, how uh, Republicans, how they would have been uh, introduced. The two party system means it is which two major political parties which dominate mostly in the election. To mean uh, presidential elections, they are the one to dominate. To mean Democratic and Republicans were the one are uh, the one to dominate more in the United States when it comes to presidential election. Uh, and uh, the two parties were once called Democratic Republican Party, but they were spread apart in 1829. This is uh, according to boundaries.com, they say that um, after, the, uh, after the tax reform, they were separated into two. It means in 1856, uh, that's when they separated. And uh, Jackson was the one to lead um, uh, Democratic Party, which started uh, Democratic Party, which started in uh, 18, uh, 1930. Democratic Party started in 1930 uh, by uh, progressive rebellions, uh, centristes, and left libertarians. Those were the ones um, made of uh, uh, Democratic Party. Uh, it was once and it is among the parties that were started area to it is among the older parties in the world and andrew jackson was the first president to be elected from democratic party and the recent one uh, in uh, uh, to be from the democratic party is barack obama uh, so going on um republican party republican party started in 19 uh uh, Republican Party started in 1854 and it have dominated politics in 1860 uh, to 1932. Uh, the first president from its uh, uh, Republican Party is Abraham Lincoln, while the recent one is the one who is now in power, who is uh, Donald Trump. Uh, so uh, uh, they have been getting uh, others like uh, George Waka Bush and others, and it started. It was started by anti-slavery activists, modernizer, ex-wing, and ex-free soldiers. Those were the one who were in Republican uh, Party. So there is uh, some uh, some may think that the third party doesn't have a part in this or doesn't have the power uh, or the chance to participate in the government, but then they also have. Uh, the change to do this, they also have something to do because the third party can make some changes in the government. Uh, to mean the importance, the impact the third party can have on the politics, on national politics, uh, is that it it organize and mobilize uh, like around a single issue or portion, putting pressure on candidates from major politics. Additionally, it is saying that um, according to boundaries.com, can also influence election. The anybody can uh, influence election by uh, taking the votes from one of the major parties. To mean either Republicans or Democrats, it can uh, take some vote, some votes from from them, which can uh, like hinder the direction of one uh, uh, of one of them or the other. This has happened from the first uh, president who was from Republican because they say that it was because one of the third parties uh, took the votes from Democrats, which made like uh, like which made one of the Republicans to win over in the votes. Uh, so we are going to see about the vote question.
I'm going to be talking about the fourth question and uh, referring to what um, the interviewee said. They say that they don't know anything about how a, a bill becomes a law. This is what you are going to be discussing. Uh, so uh, uh, according uh, to uh, different resources that I've consulted, there are 10 steps to how a bill becomes a law. The first step is a bill is born. A bill can be born, anyone can draft a bill, but then uh, a member of uh, Congress can be the only one to, to, to introduce the legislation of a bill. Uh, to mean, when they do that, that's when they, are, uh, they, they become sponsors. So for those who introduce it, they are the one to be called uh, sponsors. So when it's born, it's introduced, uh, uh, the second uh, step is committee action. This is when they get that bill which was uh, drafted and introduced to them and then they uh, discuss about it, they uh, get some views about it on how it can uh, continue the process and uh, because this is because when they uh, refuse to go on with it they can drop it but they if they continue it comes to subcommittee review a subcommittee review also deal with uh, that bill, evaluate it, discuss about it, and then uh, decide whether it is going to go on uh, like the Congress is in all those like uh, the, uh, the House of Senate is going to be also in charge. When it comes to markup, uh, this one they, uh, they just debate on it. They just discuss more about it. Uh, then they vote whether it's going to be uh, continuing depending on how it's going to be important on depending on how it can help uh, the community as well so after markup it comes to uh, committee action to report a bill after here uh, the house of senate uh, sending it here they have to hearing uh, the, they are going to be hearing it uh, recording it to how it's going to be hoping they presenting uh, advantage and disadvantage of, of it they vote, how there is voting, where they, they check and see whether it needs to move on to, or to continue being in the process or to be dropped up. So when it comes to referral uh, on the seventh step, it's referral to other chamber, uh, to other chamber. This is where uh, they deal with it. This is where they talk more about the bill and see what the other, depending on what other uh, showed them, depending on the reasons why uh, the uh, above steps were followed and how it went over to reach to that step, they can uh, decide to send it to conference committee action. Uh, conference committee action, this is where they debate more, they discuss more, they uh, they vote to see whether it's going to uh, to be to to go to the executive part, to the president, to be signed or to be dropped up out. So uh, to me, when the Senate here decide to uh, send it, it goes to the final action. This is where uh, it's going to be uh, evaluated again and then uh, be signed as uh, of a reading a veto or the uh, final transition of a bill are uh, going to the president to be signed and then when it is signed when the president doesn't decline the idea of the bill then uh, uh, they sign and then publish the bill and this is the whole process of how it's going to be uh, from the bill to be a law uh, thank you very much for your kind attention